Welcome back. Uh, in this experiment we're going to run the uh, citric acid uh, battery test again except we're going to um, add a um, alkaline agent to the titanium dioxide we used last time. So I've got clean electrodes here to start and uh, let's get to it. Let's stir this up a little bit. Whoops. <clears throat> Almost screwed up. Uh, forgot to add the alkaline. Here's about a gram of uh, lime, like garden lime you would, you would do, use. It. And I'm just going to pour that away as you can see it. I'm just going to pour some of this down in there. And then use this. Now if you haven't seen the earlier videos, you probably uh, are wondering what I'm doing here. Um, what we've discovered so far is uh, you need an alkaline. Your negative anode needs to be alkaline and hydrophilic. And then your positive anode needs to be acid and hydrophobic. So we're going to make this more alkaline now. So now we've got a mix of titanium dioxide, lime, and water, distilled water. So we'll paint that on a clean electrode. And I forgot to cut the paper. Right piece here. Throw a separator paper on there. Put uh, this is our citric acid and borax solution. Put a few drops of that on there. Lay it down good. Okay. And now we'll put an electrode. There's our graphite, graph oil, and I'm filling some, drawing some heat out of my hand. And last time we got uh, a little less than one volt and it slowly was dropping with just this setup here. And, and it produced one point, uh, one point, look at there, oh, there's a huge difference, look at that. We've got 1.21 and 6 and it's slowly dropping, but just adding the alkaline uh, addition to the negative side of it both boosted the uh, voltage by uh, 0.2 volts, 20 some percent. See, we see it slowly dropping, and we and we noticed in the last experiment that when we added the uh, oily uh, microspheres to the deposit, it stopped doing that and pushed the voltage up. So this is uh, really exciting right here. And then see the last time we did this. Same thing, we got uh, 1.7 or 1.3 something millivolts out of that. Let's see what we get this time. And that's, and that's 5, what, 5.3, I think I saw, or 5.1. So, adding line makes a huge difference. And we're climbing back up like a rocket. And it was even faster with the uh, other stuff on. So we're going to have to try adding the uh, cathode material now. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So that definitely tells you you've got to have an alkaline anode in the biocell. Now, let's add some of our cathode microspheres here. We've got an oil base on our cathode, and we've got water base on our anode. So let's just 
that. is actually lower than uh, it was with just the uh, alkaline. Let's see what our uh, amps is done now. We had 5.3 milliamps last time, I think. And here... Ooh! Uh, way, way more uh, 25 uh, milliamps. So, but slightly lower voltage, although Remember in the last experiment, it kept getting higher every time I discharged it. So. It's climbing fast. See, so you can see there's a balance that has to be had in here. You know, without the positive uh, oily substance, we we got a higher voltage but a way lower uh, amperage. And then we added uh, our cathode material there and our voltage went down but our amperage went way up. We didn't lose a lot of voltage but, you know, but we uh, magnified our amperage a lot. And we're still climbing and you notice it's not uh, it didn't start at the top and drop down. That was the, without the cathode material on there. It wants to slowly lose voltage. And it doesn't do that as soon as you put the cathode material on. Okay, let's check the amps one more time. Climbed up to 16. Of course, we weren't fully recharged either. So, uh, definitely a, a lot more amps with the cathode material on there. Okay, I hope you found this informative. And uh, as soon as I figure out what to, to, to do next, I'll be back with another video. Thanks for watching.